Charisma can really kill you, especially if you're an entrepreneur, you run your own business. It could really be a huge, huge dagger in your success. And here's why. Today, we, were having, we had a call with our team and we have a call all the time, you know, for ads and marketing and coaches and stuff like that. And one of our team members pointed out that uh, his name is Shamim. So Shamim, he does all our analytics and he's like, the entire company's, our Afro D, right, our company, the entire thing rests on Farhan's shoulder, my shoulder, right? It's, I'm the face of the company. I'm the brand of the company. So he's like, the community is because of Farhan. The supplement was started by Farhan. We have customers because of Farhan, right? So we need to give Farhan that authority and really bring Farhan to the world. And one thing, there's a few lessons here to learn, really, really important lessons, especially if you're an entrepreneur. The first thing is, and I learned this from the book, Good to Great, the charismatic leaders do not always do well because people don't tell them the truth. And this is something that I've suffered from in Afro D, as well as my previous companies. Because of the charisma, because of the charm, people don't wanna let me down. So if you have a, this charismatic nature, this, you know, people loving you and people admiring you, then they will not want to give you the bad news because they are afraid of how you will react and how you will judge them. And they want to look good in your eyes. And that can really, really hurt entrepreneurs. Okay. And I, I learned this from good to great, really, really great book. So what's important is in your company, you need to figure out what exactly is the bad news first? Whatever is really terrible that's going on. You know, you, let's say you get scammed or let's say uh, you know, a, someone, someone from the company says something to you that you don't like, you, you build resentment or you get a task you don't agree with or uh, the, the company is doing some, some shit that you don't like because, because it's not aligned with the culture or you are there's someone says something that that hurts your feelings because they are not being uh, they do not they do not agree with what your belief system is whatever that is you need to speak up because that's bad news if you're losing money if there is something that is depleting the the, the revenue of the company there's there's something that is hurting the product that is hurting the customer experience you need to need to need to get that out of the company's personnel because if you don't, then your company will die and you will go bankrupt. So this is something really important. Now here's something even more important. As they were saying that, you know, as they were applauding me and really uh, saying great things about me, I felt super happy. You know, I got this ego boost, but I also felt that my co-founder Imran is even more part of the success of Afro, even more than me. Even though I'm the face, I make the content, I, I you know, I, uh, building the community, you know, b uh, b being the face of the community. But Imran is the one doing the real work behind the scenes. Now, all the copywriting, all the building the pages, the, the managing everyone, managing the finances, that is all Imran. Like, I have literally stepped away from the company to do some BS, like uh, do fashion or acting or, uh, uh, you know, my own uh, giving up and, and, and sort of leaving and, and never want to make a product again because I'm so fed up of, of not getting sales. Imran was the one who kept us alive. Imran was the one who didn't even force me, man. Like when I said, hey man, I'm stepping away, I gotta do, do some acting work and, and he's like, go. And he's, he worked 18 hours a day, it, it took no salary sometimes, you know, lived with his parents when he had to. Because, because we were not, we didn't have enough money to pay salary. Like Imran did that. And having an amazing co-founder, I have the best co-founder in the world. If you want to build a business and you have very high charisma and it could kill your company, make sure you have a co-founder with no charisma at all. No offense, Imran. But this is the key, guys. Like you need to find a co-founder which is your opposite. And that is how you will be able to get people in the company to give him bad news, especially if you have the charisma. And you will be able to do things that 
you want to do and he will do the things that you don't want to do because Imran is amazing as bu at building system, logistics, uh, organizing operations. He's the best. And thank God that he exists in Afrodi because those times when I left, Imran took care of the whole company. So I wanted to say this to, to everyone in the meeting today. I didn't because I saw Imran's face and he agreed. He's like, yeah, uh, you, you know, he, he's such a, he's such a big hearted guy. He's such a amazing, amazing person. And, and I love this guy so much. And, and so I, I, I sort of forgot because I saw literally zero resentment in his face, zero care, because all he wants to do is take Afro D to a million people like me. And that's all he gives a shit about. So props to you, man, and your big heart. Thank you so much for being part of Afro D. And, and I really, really love you, man. Thank you again. And guys, charisma will kill your company unless you have an amazing co-founder and you figure out how to get the bad news first. See you guys tomorrow.